Hello everybody, I'm Paul here. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a shave um, with uh, um, a new razor and a relatively new soap. Um, and I'm going to be uh, using a uh, brush that I haven't used in a long time. Uh, so um, um, we'll get started here in just a minute. <clears throat> I'm going to be using the, uh, the soap I'm going to be using is the uh, Barrister Man Le Grand Chipre. Um, this is a uh, soap that they just came out with about a month ago. Really a great scent. Uh, this uh, harkens back to the classic uh, uh, Shepra style of uh, fragrances and uh, basically Shepra is a uh, kind of a classic uh, um, family of fragrances that are based around uh, uh, citrus top notes, um, a labdanum uh, middle, and a uh, uh, mossy woody base, usually oak moss or patchouli and or patchouli and whatnot. And uh, this was first, uh, this scent was first uh, um, created in 1917 by Francois Cody. And uh, it's, uh, um, it and derivatives of it have been popular for a very long time. And uh, uh, Will did a great job on uh, um, recreating this uh, classic uh, style of fragrance in a soap and a wonderful aftershave. And I'm going to be using that today. So, um, uh, and then for my brush, uh, um, I'm going to be using my uh, Samogue 620 bore brush, and for my razor, I'm going to be using the uh, uh, Kikukan um, frame back. This is a Japanese uh, straight razor, and uh, um, it's been rescaled with the custom scales from Stefan at Straight Razor Works. Um, so we'll be get uh, using that today. So uh, I'm just going to get started. We'll go ahead and start uh, uh, loading the soap into the brush. So when I first started wet shaving, um, I was really uh, into uh, bore brushes, and as time has gone on, I've kind of become more uh, um, more partial to uh, badger hair brushes. Um, but uh, um, every now and then, I like to break out the bore brushes just for sentimental value, and and really they are great brushes. Um, this one was the first bore brush I ever got, and I was like head over heels in love with this thing when I first got it. And it's still a great brush, I just don't use it that much because I kind of prefer a, a bores or badgers these days. So, uh, we'll go ahead and get going. So this brush, you know, has a reputation for being kind of uh, scrubby and... Uh, um, having a lot of backbone, the knot is set fairly low for a bore brush. But I'll tell you, when I first got this brush, I was um, pleasantly surprised at how soft it was. Uh, it, it definitely does have some scrub to it, um, but the backbone on this thing is really nice. And uh, mine, I don't know if they're all like that, but mine actually came fairly well, uh, fairly broken in, or, uh, and really didn't require much breaking at all. I, I, I felt this thing was pretty soft and comfortable to use right from the get-go. Um, and it, it quickly became a favorite of mine um, back in the day. Uh, unfortunately, it's been kind of pushed to the side, but I still like to break it out every now and then because it is a, a great brush and really works great. As you can see, it whips up lather nicely. It has really good backbone, um, yet it's not a lather hog at all. It seems to uh, uh, release the lather quite nicely. So I'm just uh, adding water to the soap here, little by little, just to get it up to the consistency I like. Usually with a straight razor, I like to have the lather a little bit more hydrated than maybe with a DE or a SE razor. And uh, the Barrister Man soaps uh, tend to uh, take quite a bit of water. Um, They're pretty concentrated, and uh, it's hard to overwater them. They're very easy to lather, and they really create a nice slick surface area. I think this particular soap uh, has a little bit different soap base than some of the other uh, Barrister Man soaps, um, and this one is really great. So I'm not sure if that's going to be something that they that they uh, continue on with with their soaps in the future if this was just a special 
special deal for this soap, but uh, it is a great base, and uh, the scent on this is awesome. You definitely get that interplay of citrus and kind of uh, woody, earthy scents in here, and uh, it's really a lovely scent. Um, and uh, you know, Will Will at uh, Barrister Man does have a kind of a uh, passion for perfumery and whatnot, and uh, he really knocked it out of the park with this one. So. Okay, just going to kind of get some of the excess off the uh, beard and right here at my sideburn so I can see the boundary where I'm going to be shaving. And we'll go ahead and break out the razor and we'll get started here. So as I said before, this razor is a, 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 a Kikukan. This is a Japanese uh, straight razor made of Japanese steel. Um, and this is a frame back razor and uh, for the longest time I was very resistant to getting a frame back razors. I wasn't, never had used one and I don't know why I was resistant to it. I, I guess I just didn't really like the the look of a lot of them. Um, but I had seen one on uh, on Stefan's website uh, that he did a while back with a, that was kind of similar to this. It had a really pretty blue custom handle on it. I really liked that one. Um, I was debating between that and the dashi that I did in one of my other videos. And I ended up getting the dashi because I, you know, was a little bit resistant to the frame back and I kind of regretted not getting that one so I contacted him to see if he had any other and when this one came available he contacted me and said he could make a set of custom scales for me and uh, green really is my one of my favorite colors so uh, when he said he could make one with a green custom scales I, I was really excited about that and uh, jumped on it and when I received the razor, the first time I shaved with it, I was a little bit, you know, apprehensive about it. I had no idea how it's going to shave. And I have to say, I've been really, really pleasantly surprised with the way this razor shaves. Although the blade looks very thin, you'd think it would be very flexible which is something I don't really care for. I don't like that feel of the blade flexing, like with a really, you know, full hollow ground razor. But this thing has no, uh, the blade does not flex at all. It feels almost like a uh, wedge or near wedge razor, but it, it uh, handles and maneuvers just like a, uh, like a um, flat ground razor. Uh, and uh, the other thing is, is that I, I thought this would be kind of light, but it actually has a nice heft to it. Uh, it's not super heavy, but it has a nice solid feel to it, much more solid than uh, I uh, was anticipating. So. So now looking back on it, I feel kind of silly that I was so resistant to getting a frame back razor because this actually has become one of my one of my favorites. I really like the way this razor handles and the way it shaves.
and I pretty much, uh, I have not had to, I've used this razor several times. All I've done with it is basically stropped it. It came really sharp from uh, Stefan. Really nice edge on it. He really does a nice job refurbishing these uh, these Japanese razors. So you know, if you guys are looking for a you know real high quality, reasonably priced straight razor, uh, you might want to contact us. Stefan at the Straight Razor Work. pass. As far as the strength of the scent of this soap, it is really, it is a, a very uh, strongly scented soap. The uh, um, You can sm definitely smell it. Uh, um, there's no question about it. It, it uh, um, you know, the, everything about this soap is pretty much top-notch, so... One thing I really appreciate about uh, Barrister Man is their, you know, willingness to take chances on scents, um, fragrances that, you know, may not be real mainstream. And, and also, you know, really bringing back some classic, classic fragrances. Um, this one, the Cologne Russe. You know, really are, uh, you know, a couple classics and, uh, I really got to tip my hat to Will for, you know, being willing to, uh, bring back the classics and then also take some chances on some really kind of crazy outside the box scents like Rome, um, and the uh, Leviathan, you know, maybe since that may not be, you know, all that popular or have widespread appeal, but are, uh, you know, really awesome in their own right, you know, really kind of unique and uh, uh, fun, fun sense. So, so after straight razor shave, I will usually apply some alum. And this alum stick is just a, uh, you know, gigantic alum deodorant block I got from Sprouts and uh, I've had this thing for quite a while. It works great, um, it's fairly inexpensive and it lasts forever so there you go. I'll just show you that that's kind of what it came in. I got the, and again I got this from Sprouts. I think they have this at uh, um, high health as well. The vitamin store has this deodorant too. So, and it works great. It's basically, just an alum block, and uh, it's great. I apply it, and then I'll wipe it off after a couple a few seconds. I think that kind of helps, uh, you know, close your pores, tighten your skin, and uh, you know, helps heal any like minor nicks or cuts that you might have. So I'm going to go ahead and use the Grand Sheep Breath, a matching uh, cologne or aftershave. I had to get this, you know, I got the soap, I had to get the ma matching aftershave. 
And again, really, really nice. This is an alcohol-based splash. It does have a little bit of a bracing effect, but uh, it also has some moisturizing qualities to it as well, which is really nice. All right, guys, there you go. That's it. That's the shave of the day. I uh, hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.